soulful Pan-Asian restaurant on 3rd Street. I take the things that I grew up with, the flavors that my mom had cooked for me, or my travels in Asia, or growing up in Hawaii, and I've taken those flavors and created these dishes. Executive chef Rodelio Aglabot is the former cooking force behind Koi. Today, Rodelio is the owner of this new Asian sensation. I wanted to do food that was more my style, like I'm doing here at E Cuisine. E is named after the book of I Ching, and the I Ching is this 3,000-year-old manuscript. Um, it really embodies a lot of those teachings. And with our decor, the five elements are really well represented. Um, water definitely is well represented with a 22-foot waterfall that changes color. The menu at E Cuisine is a storybook of Rodelio's childhood memories and a fusion of cultural foods. I was born in the Philippines, raised in Hawaii, so I grew up in a, in a family that always cooked together. Anything that had to do with the celebration. E Cuisine's two signature desserts are avocado mousse and malasadas. I had this idea of making an avocado mousse, filling a frozen avocado shell with it, and it's paired with the lychee sorbet and raspberry sauce. The other dish is malasadas, which are Portuguese donuts, a la the Krispy Kreme of Hawaii. They just put a lot of, of love into it, so it's, a, it's just a good place. Ellen makes a dream come true for Rob Thomas. Rob always wanted to learn how to make sushi from, uh, well, let's, we bring out a, a sushi chef uh, from E Cuisine. E can I say it? Can I say it? You say it. All right, this is Chef Rodelio. I like that. Rodelio. Yeah. Chef Rodelio. Come on out. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. See you. Chef Rodelia from E Cuisine. E, e Cuisine. All right, so uh, what's the hardest thing to... Well, the hardest thing, well, basically we're going to start off with we need to get our hands wet because we're dealing with sushi rice. We're going to make California rolls. Actually, we're going to make spicy tuna rolls, but uh -huh. yours are not too spicy. Okay. I think Rob likes some spicy stuff, so we'll get our hands wet first. Get our hands wet. In our wet. bowls here, yeah. All right. Get them all nice and wet, all the way down nice to the palms beautiful. because we want to make sure the rice is stick to our hands. Yeah, right. beautiful. Yeah. You want to last a day in my kitchen, well, but it's okay. But look, look at my soy. It look... <laughs> It doesn't mm -hmm. even. <laughs> yeah, I don't have right, a. Let's see if we can we can make this go, right? We can still okay, make, we can still make it work. Are I'm gonna have to pay people to eat my vegetarian? sushi. <laughs> nobody's. All right, let's All get right. there. We're gonna get a little some of this tuna mixture on there. We got a All nice right. roll. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was supposed to be a roll. Oh. All right. Oh, yes, oh, I is it a roll? I'm like spreading I know. it across I, my... He's not... Oh, we can do it. I'm telling I'm like you, he spicy ultimately... Tuna pate. Yeah, oh. that's what I thought. No, you see, but it's getting your hands in there and just having some fun with it. Mm -hmm. All right, we're making... Ready? We're going to roll. Take here we the go. left side. Yes. Okay, here we go. Touch the first corner there, uh -huh. and then let it roll towards the right. Right. All right? Yeah. Look yes. at that. That's a yeah. masterpiece. Something you got looks, that looks very... All right. Something looks very wrong with mine. All right, so then we're going to use the mat to press it down. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll salvage it. You have your own television show. <laughs> I know. Well, right, we're going to grab the mat. Thank God I won't have to. Put yes. it over? Yes. This way? To, to, because you're ashamed of it. Is that why? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I know and what you're doing. We're going to press it down. Hope we can salvage the shape of that. All right. All right. There, see? Look. We're going to yeah. make it happen and pull it right off. Yeah. See? Not too bad. Yes. All right. Well, so yeah. we can so those are let's put it on our plate. We're going to do, do a quick decoration real quick. Absolutely. All right. So we can hide all the mess. Here we go. Presentation. Presentation. So we can it's all about presentation. Exactly. Look at that. <laughs> we're going to toss some of these crispy onions on top. Got that? <laughs> oh, oh, man. They look slow. And toss some, of those, and toss some of those on top? Yeah, there we go. We'll hide a little bit. Yeah. Well, we have to taste it. Let's go. Let's, let's taste it. Yeah. Yeah. Taste yours and see how you like it. Okay, ready? That's going to be really right. spicy. You have a lot of wasabi this, in there. I have a lot of wasabi. everything in or here whatever because that it's is. the biggest piece of tuna I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, you'll be sorry. <laughs> Do you need some water? <laughs> you want ham water? <laughs> mm. One big reason why this is Tia's favorite place to eat, the chef, like Tia, is Filipino and Hawaiian. Basically, that means the food is delicious. The house favorite, tuna tartar. I'm gonna cut. Mm. I'm gonna cut into cubes. It's like butter. It's like butter. Next, add a little avocado, some green onions, a little smelt egg for color, and a pinch of salt and pepper. And here's the where we get a lot of the other flavor from. I'm gonna put a little chili oil. Chili oil. Yeah. Some chili oil here. Ooh, spicy. But they're not done yet. Add a little soy sauce and mix. And now comes the taste test. Mmm. And crab legs. Originally, we just had the broiled crab legs with a little dipping sauce. And I just want to take it to another level, where I want to like glaze it with tempura sauce, with miso marinade. And then I add ginger and garlic in there to kind of give it the little freshness and a little kick at the end.
In L.A., there are as many hip sushi slash Asian restaurants as there are plastic surgeons. Chef Rod is probably why Koi stands out. We do what we know, we do it really well, versus trying to do something that we don't know. His seared Kobe beef tartare on crispy rice is a smash hit, as is the tuna tartare and avocado on a crispy wonton. People love avocados and tuna together. You know, it's just the combination. When they, when they read the menu, how it's described, tuna tartare and avocado, oh, that's it. I'm gonna just sear off these scallops, nice golden brown on both sides. For an entree, Chef Rod sears Japanese sea scallops, while in another pan, he mixes risotto with an uni cream, a heavy whipping cream that's been reduced, then mixed with sea urchin, called uni, a Japanese delicacy. So some people like it runny, I like it almost look like macaroni and cheese. The scallops go on the risotto, and then get their own topping. Put a little truffle vinaigrette to finish off the dish, and we're garnished with a little salmon roe. The sweetness of the scallops is tempered with the sea taste of the uni and roe. It's almost home cooking. <laughs> exactly. It's time to live like a star. Hello, Veronica. Hi. I'm Rod. It was Live Like a Star. We're here to throw you a party today. Not only that, we have Kelly with me. She's going to help take care of the kids today. Oh, yeah. But we have a lot of work to do. I'm, I have a beeline to the kitchen. OK. The plan I have today is to do a Japanese dinner, decorate their dining room to celebrate their surprise 12th anniversary dinner. We're going to put towels down so these cutting boards will not slide. OK. So have you made sushi before? Oh, my gosh, no. But we so learned how to eat sushi overseas in Okinawa. That's where we met. Who made the first move? Well, I had to, eventually. <laughs> When I'm doing sushi, I always have my index finger here mm -hmm. to have more control. When you're selecting tuna, look for uniform bright red color and a firm texture. And we need to make the spicy tuna. With Japanese cuisine, everything that you add to it, like the soy sauce, the wasabi, the ginger, all those things help kill bacteria. Here's a very important tip when dealing with fresh seafood. Temperature control is always important. To ensure freshness, it is important to keep it refrigerated as long as possible and keep it out and working in short periods of time, covering it and putting it back in the refrigerator. That will make sure that your product is the freshest and the best it can be. Taste it. If it needs anything else, the spicy though? No. Nicer knife here. Basically cut it across. And we're going to do that because it's going to just make it a little bit easier for us nice. to roll. Beautiful. OK, do I get to keep these knives? Uh, sure. <laughs> you know, with a lot of I money. I guess you need nice knives. <laughs> like a snowball? Like a snowball. Okay. Actually, that should be, that should be okay. fine. We'll add more rice. So you're going to put it towards the center. It's Not sticky. too much rice. Well, in the sushi rice, you have to put a little bit of uh, rice wine vinegar. I love sesame seeds. All right, let's we'll pick it all up and turn it on the other side. They won't fly off? No, they won't fly off. Sure. I'm positive. <laughs> All right. Like on the, on Night the on it. Okay. Perfect. All right. All right. They're Woo. beautiful. We're going to put a line of spicy tuna, nice. about a half inch thick. Did you read how to make no, sushi no, book? No. <laughs> That'll make it really pretty. You're going to roll it and continue the roll until it all meets. Well, You're going to move your hands over. to the right. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Keep going. Perfect. What Woo. a student. Keep going. Ooh, look at me. Keep going and even all out. Okay. Oh my God. That is beautiful. Okay. So we're going to place it over, and you're basically going to tighten it up. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right, now we can take it off. OK. And you have a beautiful nice. spicy tuna roll. Slice it, beautiful. Take this, put it right next to that, and we're going to cut it again in the center. This is good enough to put on my menu. What goes really well with, with Japanese food is a Sauvignon Blanc, and I have one from Spring Mountain, Napa Valley. And I think this occasion deserves a beautiful toast oh. to many more Surprises. A little, um, how's the meal so far, Steve? It's delicious. An overall grade? A plus plus plus. A plus plus plus. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I'm Ron Aglebot for Live Like a Star. We'll see you next time.